The Quick and the Dead tells the story of a mysterious woman named Ellen, who arrives in a small western town with a hidden past and a talent for shooting. She enters a deadly gunfight at tournament in order to confront the man who killed her father. Along the way, she befriends a young gunslinger and a veteran sharpshooter as they all compete in the tournament. Upon its release, The Quick and the Dead received mixed reviews from critics, but it was a commercial success at the box office. It grossed over $56 million worldwide, making it the highest grossing western film of 1995. Not many people are aware how much Sharon Stone influenced this movie, which I think she deserves credit for. For example, Stone signed on as a co-producer in 1993 and was given the responsibility of choosing the director. She was given a long list of directors as a guidance from the production studio, but in the end was insistent that Sam Raimi got the job. She was also so insistent that Leonardo DiCaprio appear in the film that she paid his salary personally. She also hand-picked Russell Crowe to be in the film. The studio was initially unsure about this choice because Crowe was a complete unknown to the American audience at the time. I think it's safe to say that we owe some gratitude to Sharon Stone for her part in this movie beyond just her acting. An interesting fact is that Gene Hackman had the most opportunity to prepare his quick draw for the film and as a result he was actually the fastest actor on the set. Director Sam Raimi has said over the years that the film was an homage to the late Sergio Leone and the spaghetti westerns he directed, both visually and production-wise, but still containing Raimi's own visual and eclectic style. However, his original ending didn't work, so he went to Sony Pictures to ask for a writer to fix it. The studio suggested Joss Whedon, who saw the movie and fixed the ending for Raimi in one afternoon. The film's iconic cast and action-packed plot has made it a fan favorite over the years, and it has gained a cult following. Its influence can still be seen in modern Western films, making it a timeless classic in its genre. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this film. I know it can be quite divisive among moviegoers. Thanks for watching. Please show your support by liking this video. And as always, I'll see you on the other side.